hello everyone welcome to obs studio tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can you set up an obs studio virtual camera to display any of the inputs and outputs to the devices the external softwares like zoom google meet etc so in this video we have a google meet that uh, we are ready to join but if you see the camera is showing as camera field so if I just turn on my camera right now, it's turned off. If I just try to turn it on, it won't turn on. And it is showing me the result as camera failed. So for this particular case, what we are done is we have set up an OBS studio virtual camera. And that is why it is happening. If I just go back to my uh, meeting and here in the video capture input, I just select it as OBS virtual camera. Then you can see the camera failed message has gone and my camera is now open right so how do i do this so let me just switch it to integrated webcam go back to obs studio stop the virtual camera over here and actually just delete the video capture device right so now the settings are by default if i just go back to zoom right now if i just refresh it then you will see that uh, this integrated webcam is working fine okay but you do not want the result the output to be shown directly from the integrated webcam into any of the softwares you want to use uh, the obs studio virtual camera setup so how do you do that go to obs studio create a profile and a scene collection in the scene add the camera output or the camera input just go to the video capture device in the sources and just uh, let me just rename it as a camera click on okay so select the uh, output that is the integrated webcam let me just uh, close this meeting for now so that's going to be custom and the resolution is going to be this so now uh, my video is getting captured okay click on okay now this is my output that i'm going to project so once you're happy with your output then what do you what it do is just select on start virtual camera once this virtual camera is started and you go back to the meeting so i go back to this meeting link that i have created now what you see is um, it's going to take a few seconds camera is starting uh, right now it is by default selected to integrated webcam and that is starting and that has failed so what i do is i just change the source to an obs virtual camera so now the camera is starting and with this i can just join the meeting if i want i can just change the uh, settings over here suppose i want it to be shown over here now if i just go then you will see that my camera is actually showing some of the blank screens and only this output is showing in my camera so this is how i can change the output directly from my obs studio that what output is getting displayed over there if i want i can just uh, put it in the middle like this uh, something like this not exactly in the middle but uh, close then here you can see my output has been changed now uh, if you click on this join now or meeting then what happens is your meeting is joined like this and your camera is showing over here now if you want to show some other things you want to show suppose an image so you can just go back to your uh, obs studio just click on image and add an image to this particular view itself so let me just add a sample image just to show you like this okay so this is what i want my image to be again if you go back to your uh, meeting then you will see in your camera itself this image is shown just like this you can add as many uh, sources as you want you can add multiple images you can add multiple video capture devices you can add multiple screens just to show them all at once through your camera using the obs studio virtual camera and that is actually the benefit of the of using the obs studio virtual camera it gives you the freedom to show multiple outputs that's it for this video thanks for watching